Welcome back to another session at Dux Tutorials in HTML section. Here I am going to tell you about frames in HTML. What exactly a frame is and how do you use that? For example, I will be showing you the page. So this is a HTML page. Now here you could see the partitions in my HTML. That is I do have a top one bar, one page. And to the left I have one column and to the right I have another column and there are different different pages you could see in this particular page so these are nothing but frames now this particular section is called one frame and this is one frame and this is one frame so how to create these frames so it is easy like once I click login my login page comes up the other pages will not disturb and when I say registration, the registration page comes over here. In my online bookstore, whatever you are saying here, this will never, it's not getting changed, right? So this is what, this is how the frames will be used in HTML pages, it is especially in the websites and web pages. It's very, very, very essential. So let's see how to do this particular page. Okay, this. So to do these frames, we have a special tag called frame set. So how do we use this frame set? This frame set has attributes like rows and columns. So first I would like to see what you need to do first. You have to partition this, right? So the, if, now I'm saying rows. So one row I would like to give one uh, one partition, two rows. And in this another row, there is one column. So how do you create? First you write frame set for rows. And then you write frame set for column. Okay. So for that, you have to write like this frame set is a tag and row is the attribute for this row you will be giving the percentages like first thing i would like to give for the top as 30 percent and comma and the next one i will be giving it as 70 percent after i gave this now the frames your html page got divided into two rows that is one is for 30 percent and another is for 70 percent so now in the first 30 percent you have to write your you have to first display the web page or whatever the content you want to give in your frame set of the first 30 percent only then you can divide your uh, another row of for into columns so for which you have to you have to to insert any page or anything into that particular frame set you have to use a keyword as frame frame source source is nothing but which page you want to insert into that particular page so example.html from page okay and then name this name is very 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 essential you can write any name but this name will be playing vital role when you want to give where this name will be used means whenever you want to give some anchor tag that anchor tag anchor tag means what it has to display whenever your link is clicked that should go display your particular page or it has to move to that particular page from one page to another page so whenever in anchor tag there is one favor attribute called target what is the target mean if your target if you say blank it will be opening in a very new page but if you say if you give the target some name it will be displaying in that particular name where that name is there so here if you give name as top and if you give some anchor tag in any other page and say name equal to top target equal to top then that particular page will be displayed in your uh, in this particular section that is in 30 percent so we'll see that also later so right now and again Again, you want to divide this particular page into two columns, right? So again, you have to use frame set tag. Frame set columns is equal to some 25% and 85%. Sorry, 85 not, it's 75. Out of 75. Or else you can also give star percent. If you are if you only know this. So star percent means it will be taking the rest of the space into that particular tag okay means out of 125 is gone the rest of the data will be give, taken into another frame another frame so now again the same frame source equal to some again example one dot html and the name is equal to some left right all those things frame source is equal to
example three dot html. Some name. I'm not using these names in my program anyway. I'm just letting you to know how to use this. Okay. And then end your frame set. Okay. So let's see this code how it works in my thing. So open your notepad and you could see here main dot html and here see frame set rows equal to thirty percent and seventy percent. Frame source equal to some top because it is in the top, so I name them as top dot html and name is also top. And again, frame set columns equal to seventy five percent, twenty five percent, twenty five percent and seventy five percent. And I gave the name as one is left column and one is right column, so I have given names as left and right. And I have closed this frame set because this frame set is for this frame set and this frame set is for this row frame set. So you have to close twice. So for your convenience, let me. Give tab space so you will understand. All right. So now, I what did I in top dot html? I'll just let you know in top dot html. I have written this body background equal to images dot pjpg means there is one image for image that image name is images. So I've just given background. I'm not giving any CSS in this. I'm just writing it in the directly in the style that is background equal to. Images dot jpg. So whatever the image, because I did not say repeat or no repeat in that particular space. How can uh, the image can be displayed? It will be displayed by default. We are not giving any styling or anything. That's the reason. If you could observe here, I got two and a half image. Okay. And now break. And I've taken font color equal to blue. This is one at one type of taking the color of your font. That is font is one tag and that font has a color blue. And H1 align center online bookstore or the, I, don't, I don't want to I want to say it as Daksh online bookstore. It's because it's mine Daksh, right? So Daksh online bookstore. All right. And then what is this mark you? Mark you is a tag which will be helping your page to with the data to move from left to right. By default, it is from left right to left in this way but you can also change it to this particular things that all those things we'll see in later in the in another sessions but right now i'm not going to discuss all those things and then here i've just given some some highlight that is here all harry potter series is available so just i've done this and then if you could observe next it is left dot html what is there in left dot html if you could see your program in a web page you have here login and registration so if i click login your login page is displaying only here it is not moving there because i have given for login anchor tag target equal to right what is this right if you see here here the name is right so it will be displaying what where is this right this right belongs to this particular 75 percent of the column so whenever if you write whenever you are writing the anchor tag and you want something it should not go to another page but all those pages should be displayed in your particular web page in the the same one page single page then you have to write like this target is equal to write whatever the name you give if you write here name as some other name that name you just write it here and then again font color as black or anything and then um, and then anchor tag and then again write font color and then registration it's a very simple page i have done and then login page you have, this is the same page which i have done in my previous sessions if you have not seen that particular session please go ahead and watch it all this javascript and everything is there in that login page and then registration page so even the registration page is also the same thing which I have done. I've just copy pasted here. I did not do any modifications. But here in main.html, I have maintained given this catalog. This catalog is something new today for us, which we are going to discuss. Here I have given the inline styling, the CSS internal style. If you remember in my CSS tutorial, I have told you about the CSS types. That is, there are three types of CSS you can do. That is, internal, inline, inline, internal, and external. Inline means within the tag. Whatever you have done here right now, this background. This is my in the inline. Not even this is an attribute. This is not even a styling. 
okay i did not use here my inline intern inline styling in inline you just write in your tag itself style equal to uh, some color is equal to that and so and so that then that will be your inline styling css but here i am talking i have used internal styling what is this internal styling in the same page it will be applying so before going to that i have done we have us will see the code and then we'll go for the law, uh, styling part so here i have said harry potter series if you could see this my main.html if i refresh see your harry potter series is all there so what did i do in my h1 i have written harry potter series so that is replicated here and then div um, div class class equal to i have given books catalog because it related to some books also i have named it as books catalog and a anchor tag target is equal to blank blank means what it will be, it will be opening in a new window okay means when i click on that particular link it will be moving to the new window so h reference h philosopher stone dot jpg so my image which should display when i click that and image what is the image img this is how you include images in particular uh to include images i did not tell in my previous sessions so so image img is the tag of a tag to insert image into your html page into your web page and src is the source means what is the image you want to display so that is philosophers.jpg is the image i have to display alt means alternate if this particular image is not able to load or any error has happened or if your net speed is slow or anything then you have to display me that the text or if this is not available what should be the alternate text so that is we will we are saying that if this image is not there please write down there it says philosopher stone and then width and height are the attributes like how much width it should be and what is the height so it is saying 600 should be in the width and height should be 400 but remember here whenever you are inserting images make sure that all images are of the same size so that you will be getting equal and because we are not using any external stylings here now like bootstrap and all we are just going with basic html things so you should be careful with the images sizes and all and that you can you can do that using your photoshop or any other things or you can paint or anything so the and i closed my anchor tag and again i have given one more class in div called description your desc means description and i am writing something here like philosopher stone and the cost for this is 10 10 ad 10 dirhams so what is this happen what is happening now whenever you are uh, like this the same thing i have just copy pasted and i have renamed everything the same thing i have renamed my images and the data so now we will be going to the CSS. In the pre in the CSS, we have seen this class selectors and ID selectors and grouping selectors in the CSS scenario, in the CSS session. Here I am saying something different. Div is a tag and div dot books catalog. Here there we have seen that p dot class, p, uh, p dot some class name, p dot example, which I have seen, I have given you the same thing in the previous session or in the previous tutorial also. The same way, I'm just writing here now div dot books catalog means in your div tag, if there is a class called books catalog, see in my div, I have a class called books catalog. So whatever the data is there in this particular div until it closes means the whole thing, this data, this div should go with so this styling. What is that styling? Margin should be 5 pixels, means it should be 5, five pixels from the margin border. And border, whatever the data is there for that border, it should be, it should give one pixel uh, length uh, with solid and some color and it should be floating. Floating should be left. Always it should be to the left side and width should be 180 pixels. And then div dot books catalog hover. Hover means this hover is the one which is used for especially for an anchor tag means whenever your mouse moves to that particular page or particular place what should happen your border should change its color i have given same one pixel one pixel solid solid but color is different so it should change its color to show you that something some action has been happened and then div dot books catalog image in this book catalog if there is any image tag yes there is an image tag 
so on this image that image what is the styling that image should go it should be 100% complete width should be there and height should be auto means automatically what is the height of that particular image that image should be there but uh, height should be there but width should be 100% and then div dot description desc there is there any class with desc yes there is in a div there is a class desc so this class should follow text align text should be center and padding means it should be, it should have 15 pixel of margin okay so let's check this but only i'll i'll check this particular page where is the, it is there here here catalog i'll just open this now see you could see whenever i click the border got changed the color of this border here you could see if I'm, it's moving here. It is not move, moving. Yes, yes. And then, all right. And then now, when I click some image, it is opening in a new window because I did not give any target. The target I have given is just blank. So now, as I did not give anything, it will be coming into this particular thing, uh, into new window. Understood this CSS. So this is how you can make your images like a gallery using just HTML and CSS. Okay. So in this session today, what we have learned, we have learned the frame set and also I. So all these things, how these are all separate separate files. See my left dot HTML is separate file, top dot HTML is separate file, login dot HTML is separate file, registration page is separate file, and catalog is separate file. But with only one single page, that is by using in main using frame set, I can see everything in one particular single page. See in main dot HTML, I have this top dot HTML and this left dot HTML. In left again, I have login and registration. If I click login, login page will appear. If I say registration, registration page will appear. And if I refresh it, I will be getting this catalog page separately. And if I click any images here, the image gets displayed. Okay. So this is what all about today's session, a simple web page or having all pages in one single page, how to do that. It's like just cascading web pages in all pages into one page so that you can do by using your frame set tag. Thank you. Have a nice day.